We're here with Ingle Martin, the head coach of CPA Victorious tonight over uh, over Alcoa. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much. You uh, you guys come up here last year. You played a great game against Alcoa the second half. It wasn't nice to you last year. All season long, and I know you don't. You're, you're more of a big picture guy. But how did last season's loss in the in the Blue Cross Bowl feed you going into this year? Um, it, it didn't feed us anything. It taught us a lot. Um, Gary Rankin and his coaching staff is one of the best in the state, um, has been and will be. And we've learned uh, so much from him and his staff and um, Coach Morris and his staff down at Milan. Uh, we've talked to the kids about learning more in defeat than you do in success. And um, it is 100% true for our football team these last four years. Um, whether it was uh, Coach Broom our first year, um, Coach Morris or Coach Rankin, it's been something that we've grown as a, as a coaching staff and our kids have understood um, what the physicality um, that it takes to be successful and that's what last year taught us was the physicality part. Last year, uh, Jaquez Tyson rushed for 48 times or something, 200 and something yards. I know that had to be uh, on the defensive uh, staff's board on Sunday, stop Tyson. Uh, there's no question. That guy's really good. Um, I'm not sure what uh, his recruiting is, but he's a guy that could carry the load for someone in college um, for sure. That guy's shown um, tremendous durability, and he's got, he's got the best balance that I've ever seen. Um, out of anybody at any level, it's it's unbelievable when he gets hit how he can just keep his feet underneath him. But uh, really good running back. Um, but I was proud of our guys. They they hit him. Um, they ran around, and uh, it wasn't just one guy. We had two or three on him all night. Speaking about your running back, you got a little special guy there in Hockaday. Uh, I thought he had a phenomenal effort not only tonight but but all throughout the postseason. Uh, there's no question. Um, you know, I think he had 131 yards tonight. Uh, I'm not sure. I think he had uh, 12 total tackles. I'm just looking at the sheet here. Um, so that means that guy ran at 27, tackled 14. I don't know how many plays were in the game, but he was involved in over half of them where he was hitting the ground. And uh, that's a tough kid, and um, he's a kid that um, really, I think, has been uh, very humble this whole year. Um, we've got some really good players, but uh, he's as, as good a high school football player, I think, as there is in Tennessee this year. Okay, so you're a quarterback. You're a Division II guy. You, you go to Florida. Uh, you finish up at Furman. You know, you wear the visor. Everybody's going to look at your teams and say that's a finesse team. But the last two years, I've been impressed with the grit and the hard work ethic that your team has got. Is that, uh, is that something that you desire to teach, or is it just a byproduct of, of the work the coaching staff does? Uh, it's a byproduct of, of the hard work that our guys do. Our coaches do a tremendous job, and our kids work really hard. Um, you know, working out and running is an important part of being ready to play a football season. And these kids have done that. Brian Epps, our strength coach, head strength coach, has done a tremendous job getting these ki getting these kids ready. And um, uh, I never worry about them being out of shape or unprepared physically for a contest. And and then just our coaches uh, really want to um, make sure that our kids know that football no matter how you spin it, it comes down to blocking and tackling. Um, some people do a better job of putting people in space. Um, our kids do do a pretty good job of when everything's tight, running downhill, and, and that's what they did tonight. After every championship game, coaches talk about, they think back about one moment in the game that really brings a smile or warms their heart. What is going to be that moment Eric do you know of what moment might make you the proudest uh, coming out of tonight's game um, I think there's a, there's a lot of moments um, it, it honestly was uh, our, our team devotional um, last night uh, our baseball coach Larry Nesbitt gave it and um, he did an unbelievable job um, just framing everything for these guys and our coaches and um, we just have a I think a, a really cool place um, in CPA that uh, you know you've got whether it's baseball, basketball, football, golf, state champions this year, we got some really good coaches and some really talented kids. And um, ultimately, uh, you got to have good players to win, and, and we have some good players. Congratulations. Enjoy this. Thank you so much.